Hello, ghouls and gamers. And, of course, my fellow rejects. So, uh, we're going into a dev blog today. Uh, the deep dive into the shrine. Um, this is where they started giving a lot more information about the upcoming patch. Um, I'm actually uh, very excited about the direction they've decided to go. They say they've uh, listened to a lot of our feedback. And uh, this is where they feel that we want the game to go. So, um, I mean, hopefully they're accurate because I'm excited about it personally. If this is the direction that it's going, this is a, it's, it's a direction I can get behind. So, uh, let's get into it. So, uh, essentially they got an update on the shrine, which is where they're essentially telling us that, uh, where Dark Tide is going to differ from Vermintide. So essentially in Vermintide, you're crafting weapons themselves with rewards you got from your runs. Whereas in Dark Tide, you're going to be upgrading weapons that you can obtain. Um, I'm personally fine with that. I, I didn't come from Vermintide, so I don't know how the Vermintide players feel about it. But... I know as a Dark Tide player, I'm personally very excited about that direction. So, um, this is the uh, equipment in Dark Tide where they're essentially talking about how uh, acquiring gray quality weapons will be a lot easier. So, you'll be able to essentially find high item level versions. Well, based off of your level, you'll be able to find higher item level versions of the weapons that you want to upgrade so um i mean it'll be a gray so it won't have any perks it won't have any blessings but it'll be a, a high item level with high stats uh based off of your level that you'll be able to acquire through the uh acquisition system which you'll be able to upgrade in turn um going further into that i mean it all kind of ties together really this this letter really shows the the direction that they're going um the next thing is the uh acquisitions through uh i'm trying to remember that i guess it's dockets it's the weeklies so essentially they're making the weeklies easier to complete like uh the scriptures and the grimoires uh weekly quest they're combining um, into, like, you know, side quest completions. Uh, they're adding a couple others. They're making it easier to complete those weekly quests. And the items you get out of those, they're making better. So, essentially, they have better blessings, better item level, better perks, stuff like that. And that's uh, the way I feel it's going is um, it's those are going to be mostly based around better blessings because I feel like the direction they're trying to go here is that you get your uh, blessings through that and you are able to uh, then break those down and put those blessings on the weapons that you get from your regular you know acquisition store um, I think oh they also mentioned the uh, Emperor's Gift so you'll be getting an Emperor's Gift every game now, and those gifts will get better based off of the difficulty you're playing on, the side quests that you have going on, the events, uh, like, you know, high-intensity engagements, the engagements that are involved with those. Uh, it, those will all play a factor into the level of quality Emperor's Gift that you get from those missions. <clears throat> but no matter what, you'll be getting an Emperor's Gift at the end of every mission, which is <clears throat> a good thing. Um, and I think that, you know, playing at those higher difficulties, playing with those extra, you know, factors deserve better rewards. Uh, so I'm happy to see that they're rewarding players for playing harder game modes. Um, but yet also leaving rewards for those who don't play at those higher game modes. Uh, essentially, this was going to be a system to where 
you'll be able to get better stuff if you play at higher difficulties, but you'll still be able to get that same stuff if you play longer at lower difficulties. So I think that's a fair system myself. Um, unlocking crafting. They go through a lot of this, but essentially what it is is uh, Consecrate is going to pretty much stay the same. It's where you, um, you know, take a lower quality weapon and upgrade it to a higher quality weapon. Refined perk is going to stay pretty much the same. It's where you, you know, there's two perks. Uh, you pick one, you re-roll it, and, you know, it locks the other one, and it gets better. But this is where it gets interesting, is the earn blessing and re-blessing. So earn blessing is going to be pretty much, say, you get a weapon with a certain blessing, but it's not, you know, high item level, or it's not the weapon you want to be running. Say you got a better version of it, or you got a higher item level version of it. You can break down that weapon and take the blessing off of it. And then the re-blessing, the re-bless allows you to put that on any weapon of the same type, even if it's a different mark. So, uh, let's just say you got, you know, braced auto gun with a, uh, you know, the one that suppresses enemies. You'll be able to rip that off and you can put it on, a different braced auto gun, but it'll be for the braced auto gun. So if you want that same perk on that same blessing on a recon las, well, you're gonna have to find a recon las with that same blessing and you can rip it off, but that means you can put it on others. So, um, essentially the direction it looks like they're going is essentially you find these, weapons with the blessings that you want you break those down you get those blessings you learn how to re how to re-bless those blessings <laughs> then you go to the acquisitions and you find a high item level version gray version of the gun that you're trying to or melee weapon any weapon that you're trying to um make your primary and you upgrade it up and you re-bless it, and you adjust the perks to exactly what you're looking for for your build, which is, honestly, especially if they keep coming up with blessings, perks, and weapons, then that's a good future for this game, honestly, especially if they have more maps coming out. So, I do hope that this uh, comes out soon. Uh, they don't give a date for the next patch. They just say a lot of this is coming out for the next patch. But I do personally hope that it's soon because this could breathe life into this game. And I think that's what we all want. Um, anybody watching, I'm sure you either play or want to play and are just waiting for content. Especially content like this where it actually has a true direction for the game. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm excited for how it's moving forward. Uh, the last thing is Blessings of the Omnissiah, which is essentially, uh, it's it's just saying that, yes, this is the direction we're trying to go. Um, we'll continue making these adjustments and changes as necessary. We'll be listening to feedback, and we'll see how this goes from here, pretty much. So, um, yeah, get in here, uh, keep track of it. Uh, I'll be putting out a video when they actually start putting some of this content into the game, let you know how it goes. And, uh, yeah, after we get some of this, you know, get in here, check it out, and let developers know, let Fat Shark know what you think, what they, what you think they need. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in. And, uh, as always, stay swampy. <laughs>